Hello and welcome back to London Cycle Routes. Today I'm going to show you how to cycle from Chalk Farm in Camden to Liverpool Street Station in the City of London. It takes about 25 minutes and you can do it all pretty much on protected bike lanes and quiet streets. And don't forget to hit subscribe now for more cycling routes just like that. So let's get going. So we're going to start on this road called Maitland Park Villas and we come out of this cut through straight ahead would be Chalk Farm Station and on your right would be Haverstock Hill by the way but we're going left here down Prince of Wales Road um, these cycle tracks are absolutely brand new um, they were put in by Camden Council a few months ago and yeah they're really good you can see we've got wands here protecting us, bit of curb protection um, they were originally actually just going to be on one side of the road but Camden since the pandemic doubled them up and put them on both um, and they continue all the way down here towards Kentish Town now we're actually going to turn off to the right here. Um, make sure you indicate and check over your shoulder before you pull into the general traffic lane there because um, cars won't be expecting you to pull out. Um, and we go down Harmood Street. This has been newly filtered so you won't run into any through traffic on it at all. Um, and on your left then we go through a set of bollards, careful if it's dark because they are black, um, onto Clarence Way which is another filtered street and then just follow this route through um, until you get to the Clarence Ware Estate which is at the end of the road. Make sure you give way at the road crossing here because it's not a right of way. And then we go into the estate. This is shared with pedestrians so do be careful here. And um, I actually dismount here. I think it's probably the sensible thing to do on those speed bumps. And there's a friendly man. He said hello. That was very nice. And then uh, we head out of this gate which is usually propped open. Be careful when you cross this road, you can use the island if it helps. And we go down Farrier Street. And at the end of this street we're going to turn right down these nice protected cycle tracks on Royal College Street. Um, and these are going to take us all the way to King's Cross. Um, they're pretty good. They're stepped tracks. Uh, they have curbs to protect you from the motor traffic and they also have those little plastic armadillo things which um, uh, is usually referred to as light segregation. And by the way, since I usually forget to mention this in my videos, um, I always put a link to a map, uh, sort of a, a live online map of the route in the description of the video. So you can click through and it takes you to a Komoot page, I think that's the name of the app. And you can download a GPS file or whatever if that's your thing. Um, and as always, do check out the other videos on my channel and hit subscribe as well because, um, yeah, this channel is all about sort of videos like this showing you how to get from A to B in London pretty much always on quiet streets or protected cycle lanes and if you've got any other ideas for routes you'd like to see me plan um, and ride then yeah just let me know in the comments below and I'll try and work them out so we're nearly at the end of Royal College Street here it's been a nicely protected ride it's pretty straight um, it's actually a slight downhill by the way um, in the opposite direction it's obviously uphill um, and we turned left here down Midland Road and this here is basically a continuation, it's on protected cycle tracks and it's going to take us all the way to King's Cross. By the way, just on your left there is St Pancras Old Church, you might have cycled past it like a hundred times without noticing it. Um, it's supposed to be one of the oldest churches in London um, and uh, it's a really interesting visit. It has a sort of a weird tree with gravestones in its roots that was laid out by Thomas Hardy when he was working on uh, constructing the railway. Uh, yeah, it's definitely worth a stop if you've got a minute. So we're still on segregated cycle lanes. This bit is weirdly shared with cabs uh, who get to queue on this side of the lane. I don't really understand it, to be honest, but um, it works, does the job. And we keep going straight down here behind the bus stops and we overtake a load of uh, traffic, which is always really nice to see. Yeah, it is faster to cycle, definitely. And uh, you pull up at the signals here, which are sort of bike height, and you cross Euston Road. Now, we're going to do something a little bit different here to what I normally do. We're on Judd Street, but we're going to turn left at Cromer Street instead of going all the way. A few people who commented on earlier videos pointed this shortcut out, by the way, so thanks very much to them. Um, I'm taking your advice. I do read all the comments. And, yeah, so we go left here on Cromer Street. And this street's actually filtered, so there's a bollard at the end to keep cars out and so is the next street as well that we're going to go on to um, and the reason we're going here it's not only quieter um, and slightly shorter i think so you run into less traffic um, but you also skip a traffic light which can you know if you hit it at the wrong time take an extra sort of 30 seconds to a 45 seconds to a minute 
to flip but there's no signal here so you're just going straight through so it's definitely quicker and quieter so it's a bit of a no-brainer if you can remember alternatively you could have just gone straight on on judd street and then turned left at Tavistock place and that's okay it's not the end of the world but yeah worth a go so um here we're uh, following cycleway 6 which is a transport for london route um, but the signage on it is a bit hit or miss so um, it's not that useful to know that um, right now we're going through some back streets some sort of quiet filtered back streets which are parallel to Gray's Inn road which is one of the sort of um, major north south roads in this area of london and uh, at this crossing you go straight here but make sure you give way because we don't have right of way and then be careful here as well because there's um, a sort of long running construction project so there's all sorts of lorries and uh, vans and stuff pulling up and parking every now and again um, which makes it a little bit more busy than it otherwise would be. Up on our left there by the way is Exmouth Market um, if you know this area of London at all that's a nice little place to grab lunch uh, during uh, sort of non-pandemic times um, but we're going straight on here and if you'd gone up on the right there that uh, up that little cobbled street it takes you to Hatton Garden where the jewellers shops are. Now uh, here we turn right onto Farringdon Road and there's a protected segregated cycleway all the way. Um, keep an eye on the bike height signals they give you a bit of a head start over the other traffic. And uh, coming up on the left here as we pass Farringdon there's always a little bit of construction work I think it's related to Crossrail. But you can see um, we're coming up now and yeah, there's a bit of palaver going on here with, um, I think they're trying to let that van in actually and I might have cut him off, but there you go. Some of this cycle lane is better protected than other bits of it, by the way, but I think the whole route gives a sort of general feeling of being sort of separated from motor traffic and that's really what you're after rather than a, f uh, a genuine physical barrier the whole way. Now, coming up here on the left is West Smithfield. Um, this is obviously a market and also a major construction site, so there's always van movements and stuff up here. Sorry, it's a bit unavoidable. It's not the quietest of streets. Just be careful. Um, and then we immediately turn right here and cut through here onto Hosier Lane. Um, and this is a filtered street, so there's bollards you can see there to keep all the cars out so you're not going to run into any traffic. Um, this little bit here, uh, we're sort of coming back into a different bit of West Smithfield now. And yeah, make sure you go through that little gap next to the gate. And we're aiming for that alleyway there, which has a really, really nice name. It's one of those lovely City of London names. It's called Cloth Fair. So I assume that's where they used to sell cloth. And you just keep following it through here. And it turns into Middle Street as well when you get past the pub. Now, we're coming out here onto what looks like a really main road. Um, but the City of London has made some pretty substantial changes to their street layouts recently. So... When we cross this street here, we're actually going under the Barbican, and you can see um, we passed those yellow signs. Um, this is actually a low traffic neighbourhood now, um, so there's only th there's no through traffic here. The one exception to that is in the City of London, they call it a. Um, you can see there's no cars at all. In the City of London, they call it a uh, a low emission neighbourhood, and it's basically exactly the same as a low traffic neighbourhood if you're familiar with the concept except it has an exemption for uh, zero emission electric vehicles so um, that seems to work fine for now as more people buy those they'll probably have to change it um, and update it if they want to keep it low traffic but yeah for now it's good um, you go right there onto Moor Lane which is a nice little cut through and then Ropemaker Street and there's a bit more construction here on the left as well. Now, this street is uh, also part of a low traffic neighbourhood just about, so you shouldn't run into too much traffic on it. But um, in the city, it is quite wide, which can be a bit intimidating. I keep going through South Place. And yeah, the most you're likely to see here is like delivery vans, because there are a lot of deliveries in the city because it's very dense. Um, be careful here as well, because there's a lot of construction. And bear around here and then cut through these bollards and yeah you're actually on Liverpool Street now this bit has recently been pedestrianized and that's the station coming up um, now I have one thing to add which is most of my routes are normally symmetrical as in you can ride them in both directions this one just about is not symmetrical um, you can see there that blue line is the route we take through at the very end on Elverdon Street just before it turns in that bit is one way and if you were going in the opposite direction, you would just go uh, through Finsbury Circus and then re 
re-meet the route at South Place. Um, but apart from that, it is also entirely symmetrical. Right, thanks very much for watching. You can see the route here, it's pretty direct. Um, and if you enjoyed that, uh, or you found it useful, then yeah, uh, do hit subscribe, because this channel is all about routes like this, and uh, yeah, showing you how to get around London. Thanks very much for watching to the end, guys, and see you next time.